Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Sunday, July 8th, 2018. I am the Drunk Pokeroo, and it is beer time. Beer time today is a beer we've, we've had before a long time ago, and I ran across it at the LCBO the other day. It's from the Allura Brewing Company. It's one of my favorite labels. It's a lady friend IPA and uh, a redhead punching a bear in the neck. What more do you want out of your beer label? 6%, 50 IBUs. Uh, leading American style from what I remember. It's been a while. I haven't been to Alora in a long time, and I feel bad because I really keep meaning to get out there. So perhaps soon. Um, off tomorrow. That means we can enjoy a few pints tonight. This is the first of many, hopefully, that we can enjoy sitting out here in the grotto. It is beautiful. And I'm done. <sighs> it's a long weekend. Um, again, that copper pour, nice, thick white head. I can't really smell it because, you know, over poured. Silly me, but definitely getting some orange and grapefruit. I'm, I I vaguely remember the hard thing is, I mean, you know, you drink a lot of beers like we do. We all do. To remember them is difficult. So it's good to re-explore them and go back to them again and try them and see how you've changed. And, and is the beer changed or is it you? That's the question. But uh, it's a uh, nose in there. I'm going orange and grapefruit. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling good tonight. I'm in a happy mood because I don't have to work tomorrow. So cheers to Sunday evening beers with the poker. Just as I remembered it. And so again, being a West Coast, you get a bit more of a malty character, a bit more to toasted, bready, caramel malts, you know, um, it, and it creates that nice base to showcase that orange grapefruit sort of bitterness, that citric bitterness, and then it ends with a nice piney resinous dry bitter finish it, it this one was bottled uh may 10th so if you're talking your east coast ipas or your new england ipas you, you obviously want those as fresh as possible same with most you know ipas of the new styles the west coast styles you get a little bit more give the body it holds together the bitterness a little better i don't know the science behind it i'm just telling you how i feel when i you know get my beers and what i'm looking for but this is uh true to style so, and the bitterness in the back end is orange grapefruit again, but not overly, not overly bitter. Like it does definitely have that uh, West Coast style bitterness, but you know, probably more accessible than maybe a bone shaker or something along that lines or a headstock, right? Which can be a little bit jarring for people who've sort of come into craft beer lately and who've gone East Coast, who, who their introduction was East Coast IP is that kind of soft pillowy. This is not that, but this is probably a little easier to get into but anyways guys i'm gonna go finish this i gotta eat dinner it's taco sunday night here beautiful i'm um, gonna enjoy the weather though because it feels like it's a night meant to sit outside listen to great music and drink great ontario craft beer cheers my friends enjoy the rest of your evening I've got this one. <clears throat> but i mean seriously a lady punching a bear in the throat that's a beautiful label